The next section we'll be going over track overlaying. Now what you want to do is find your mix point. You could find your mix point in the last section which was warping or you can do it right now. I'm actually going to reorder these tracks based on the feel of them. So this one since it's kind of a minimal sort of house track, I'm just going to drag that one in the beginning, Let's zoom out, bring it to the beginning there, and the Godier track can go towards the end, and my asset Sexy as Hell original go at the end of the mix. What I like to do is mix usually at points that I know where the mixing will go well. Those points are the chorus or the hook of a song, a breakdown, or an outro. The outro into an intro usually works pretty well. I'm going to keep it simple for this mix and just mix out of the outro of the Tosh Parker track. So let's do a listen to find out where the outro is. Actually can turn the metronome off, it gets quite annoying. So I know that it's the outro because elements are being taken out, the bass, vocals, etc. So me just putting the track right at the end here, the, the Godier track, it's already sounding pretty nice. Most DJs would be fine with that mix, and that actually is, is a really good sounding mix. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make it a little more transparent and a little more pro sounding. So let's get another mix point right here. I'm just listening back for where would be a good point to actually bring in the next track. And again, this is the outro elements are being taken out. And the beauty of the warping, which is the last section, is that everything is slave to this BPM here. And I'll actually show you the beauty of that. All right, those mixes are sounding really good. Let's maximize this. Okay, so I'm gonna show you actually how you can work with that tempo. Now we're gonna open up this master track. We're gonna kind of drag it out, I guess. I'm just trying to get it to go up. There we go. It's gonna go up there. And you don't need the reverb, I'm just going to delete that. Don't need the MIDI track, delete that. And don't need the start audio track. That is unnecessary. Drag that up. So now basically this is just the automation lane. And the automation lane for the song tempo. So the, again, the master is 125. This is, you guessed it, 125. I'm going to actually draw in the lanes. So I'm going to slow it down and then speed it up. It's going to slow down to 60 BPMs and then speed up to... 100, 200 BPMs. And Honestly, for where technology has come in the last 10 years, that sounds so good. Uh, Ableton has worked really hard with their software and their algorithms to make it as transparent as possible. And you can get really creative and pretty much go crazy with it once you get a grasp of how to do a DJ mix. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to keep this all at 125. And that just gave you a little bit of a background with BPMs and tempos and, and how they work. So now that we've had all of our tracks overlaid, we can move on to the next section, which is the mixing section.